everyone, this is OMG Captain Raven and today I'm showing you a special gem of a game. Uh, as you can see, and I hope you can hear me over this very loud music, the game in question is Daikatana. This game is a bit of a mess I wanted to say, but that's, um, yeah, I, I guess that's actually the truth. Um, so this game is a very old uh, ego shooter, first person shooter. Um, from Ironstorm, as you can see, Ironstorm being the, I think those are the guys that made um, the Deus Ex game, which is my favorite game of all time, no question about that. And um, well, this game was advertised heavily back in the day when it um, was about to be released, but actually it had a lot of problems and, um, well, it was basically a major flop for this specific company and um, people didn't really like it and um, it was it, it just didn't uh, fulfill all the um, promises that were made by John Romero I'm sorry John but um, your game really didn't fulfill all the promises still I remember playing this game when I was a little kid and actually wasn't allowed or shouldn't have been allowed to play this game um, but I actually played this in multiplayer mode with my uh, dad back in the day, um, back when he was playing actually games. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I have to say, you have this, um, during the game, you of course have the, the, the name giving Daikatana sword as a weapon, basically your main weapon, even though there are other guns and stuff like that. And um, in the single player mode, as well as in the multiplayer mode, you could level up your um, katana sword and which basically made it become a magic sword which was really a, an awesome feature back in the day in my opinion so but that's enough of the chit chat let's get down to business um, I actually enjoy as you probably know uh, tinkering around in the options and uh, already I have no idea what what is what this is uh, so, configuration files, no idea, we'll, we'll just not touch that. Um, options, in, in in case you didn't notice, this game already, it starts in the menu. You have config for configuration and options. Um, just from reading the labels, where's the difference between this? And uh, then you have video and sound options, which in my opinion should be under options, but whatever, it's, it's alright, it's, it's all there, so... Unlimited saves. Um, well, apparently you couldn't save uh, any time. I I have to, I have to say that it's it's uh, been a very long time since I played this game. Uh, basically, I played it back when it was released, and that was the first and only time I ever played. And right uh, right now, this uh, this very day, there was a um, um, a promo thing going on at Good Old Games, and. Um, I actually had to buy this game was was uh, about a euro or something like that so um, I really want to take you on this on this train ride back to the olden days of first-person shooting so but apparently this was one of the first games that uh, didn't allow you to save whenever you wanted so um, I guess that was one thing that people didn't like back then we want to see the intro movie yes no out up allowed that's uh, all right, I guess. No weapon targeting, uh, auto targeting. That's for pussies. Yep. Uh, those crossers all look pretty terrible, so we'll stick with this. So let's put that up. I hope that the uh, okay, it's a W S A and D uh, keyboard configuration. That's all right. Um, unfortunately, this game doesn't allow for a higher resolution than this, um, so I hope it will look alright. And what I really enjoyed in this video options menu was there is an option for shiny weapons. Don't ask me how they get them shiny. And intensity. For what? I have no idea, but I, it's intensity of the overall game or whatever. I have no idea, but we push it to the max. Absolutely. So this is it, um, after hours and hours of uh, talking and foreplay, let's start this game. This is um, um, 
these are the difficulties and of course we play on medium difficulty or better samurai difficulty enjoy the sound of that that's the loading screen so awesome Pardon the interruption, Miyamoto-san. There is a visitor waiting outside, refuses to identify himself, will only speak to the proprietor of the school. Also, Tanaka-san left a message earlier complaining about the injuries to his son. He... I should have stayed in bed. Let me guess, Miho. It's my landlord at the door, right? Like I said, the visitor would not give his name. Did Mishima-san send you? Tell him I'll have his money by... I, uh, I can assure you that I am not here on Mishima's behalf. My name is Toshiro Ebihara. You want to learn to sword fight? Great. You're a bit older than my usual clientele, but it's never too late to. <coughs> no. <coughs> no. No, please. You misunderstand. Look, if you're asking for some donation... Uh, perhaps... If you would allow me to explain, Miyamoto-san, you need only spare me a few moments. Go on. I'm not here. They may be watching. They? They who? Come. Let's take a stroll. I promise you it will be worth your time. Centuries ago, the shogunate Mishima ruled over our people with an iron fist and a bloody sword. The only opposition came from the Ebihara clan, a group of warriors dedicated to overthrowing the brutal regime. For years, the Mishimas tried to rid themselves of the Ebihara without success. After years of frustration, the ruthless leader of the Mishimas came up with a plan. Disguising his true intent, Osaka Mishima hired a legendary swordmaster to create the ultimate weapon, the Dai Katana. This legendary master was Usagi Miyamoto, your ancestor. Renowned for his warrior skills, his love of swordplay led him to become an expert swordsmith as well. It was not until the blade was completed that Usagi realized Osaka's malevolent nature. Through the power of the sword, he was able to foresee the fate that awaited mankind should Mishima ever take control of the Daikatana. Usagi refused to hand the powerful weapon over to the Mishimas. Instead, he offered it to the shogunate's nemesis, Inshiro Ebihara, but only on the condition that it be returned to him after the evil Mishimas had been vanquished. In an epic battle atop Mount Fujiya, Inshiro used the awesome might of the Daikatana to decimate Mishima's legions. Thousands died on that battlefield. But Mishima was finally overthrown. Convinced that the mystic sword was too powerful to be wielded by mere mortals, Usagi threw the Daikatana into the heart of the raging volcano. So you want me to create another Daikatana? No, that's not necessary. I am one of Inshiro's direct descendants. Hard as it may be for you to believe, I was once a very wealthy man with the vast resources at my disposal. I funded an expedition to uncover the long-lost Daikatana from the bowels of the dormant volcano. Let's assume for a second that I believe any of this. 
What's the big deal? The Daikatana is still just a sword like any other, right? Wrong. Legend has it that the Daikatana contains many secrets. Even the ability to warp time and space. You see, the fabric of time is a delicate thing. And Usagi bestowed the sword with certain time-wandering capabilities, which have been used to alter our own perceptions of reality. Right. The man you know as Kagi Mishima, a descendant of the evil Osaka, found out about the discovery of the Daikatana before I even had a chance to examine the ancient artifact. He stole the sword and then used its magical powers to go back in time and change history. This world, our surroundings, are not what they appear to be. Things are not as they should be, as they were destined to be. As you may know, the mutagenic marker pox filovirus, more commonly known as MMP, first cropped up at the tail end of the millennium. Kagi claims that the Mishima family came up with a cure for the MMP virus back in the year 2030. Those claims are false. The truth is that the original creator of a vaccine was Dr. Tatsuo Ibihara, another of my ancestors. With the Daikatana in his possession, Kagi was able to travel back through time and steal the cure from Tatsuo making it his own. I take it that that's how Kage accumulated the funds to finance his vast empire. That's right. Of course, Mishima only gives out the cure to those he desires to have it. I, I'm sorry, but I don't see what you need from me. It's about my daughter. Your daughter? From the moment of her birth, I trained my daughter Mikiko how to wield the Daikatana in case it were ever discovered. Several weeks ago, she followed Kagi in an attempt to retrieve the stolen sword. I have not heard from her since. I, I fear she is being held captive by Mishima at his fortress. So you want me to rescue her, is that it? Yes, and then together you must find the Daikatana so that history can be changed back to the way it was. Neat story, Toshiro. But I'm not quite sure I buy it. Even if I did, I'm just a guy teaching kids how to fight with a sword. No! You are the descendant of Usagi Miyamoto! Embrace your heritage and... Who the... Well... He's apparently not very good at fighting. There is nothing you can do for me, hero. But find my daughter and the Daikatana. I, I can't just... Say nothing. When the Death Collectors come to get my body, Steal away inside the coffin. It will get you inside Mishima's fortress. The rest is up to you. But you are the bloodline hero. I know you will do the right thing. Thank you. Yep. That's totally what I would do. Get in the coffin with the old man.
remember the um, intro being so long and weird. That's the part. How many we lose? Only four this time. Looks like my rock holding out. Too bad for you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so these guys lose all these coffins all the time. Oh, where did he get the awesome armor? Well, I'm not gonna ask any questions anymore, it's just... Uh... So, we have finally arrived in the game. Oh yeah, and, and the first weapon you have is actually a super awesome power glove thing. And I think I'm about to get scanned. Oh, this doesn't work. The Iron Blaster, because that fell out of the coffin, right? So might this have been a, a bad idea? I'm not too sure. So the green water doesn't hurt me, which is uh, good to see. But there was a, a robo, a robo frog, and robo flying thing, insect. Ah, ammunition, that's good. I also noticed that the R button, the reload button, actually makes me uh, jump. The space button does this as well. What does the sign say? Warning, and the rest is the pseudo rest. Um. Um. Okay. So who in their right mind would actually make robotic frog? But uh, that's just the game. Um. 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 Ah. Attack. So is it? Power up, right? Oh, you see to the left my attack um, ability skill thing is now maximum. But I'm always gonna stay back to four points. Can I? Oh, the right mouse button uses thing. Okay, my attack is going away. That's not the. Uh, Oh, and actually the bullets can ricochet off walls. Awesome. Already this is becoming my favorite game of all time. No, seriously. Um, even back in the day, the game looked kind of ridiculous graphics-wise, and people didn't like a lot of the um, game mechanics in, in it. But actually, now that I'm playing it uh, a few hundred thousand years later, I still don't see how it is the worst game ever. I think it was just it's just coming down to the fact that this game was hyped as being the next super huge shooter thing. When games like uh, Unreal Tournament and uh, Quake were dominating the scene. And of course, um, I, I would just I would dare say that this game can hold up to Quake or... Uh, Unreal. But it's kind of fun. It's not that bad. I mean, it has horrendous loading times. But still not as bad as Rome 2 loading times. So. Not really a reason to play there. The sound they're making is so annoying. Probably what they were aiming for. Um, um. So, let me be. Oh, uh, uh, I so, I kind of messed this up, right? Game over. Uh, 
um, okay. That was kind of embarrassing. I'm not quite sure if I can actually destroy that turret.
is supposed to be a sword fighting guy that doesn't want to know about all this stuff in the first place. I kind of messed up already, didn't I? Because the enemy knows I'm here. They're sending their vast army of robo animals. And I'm barely surviving when I'm not being killed by their auto turrets. I, can, I, I don't see how I can survive this. At the same time, I'm, I'm pretty sure this won't be my most eloquent uh, episode ever on this channel. Not quite sure if it's uh, because the game is so ridiculous in most places. Or maybe I'm just really um, becoming sick in a few days. around this long for the video. Hello everyone. Uh, no, but, but I'm really enjoying the game again. This is kind of weird. But I really like it. I'm a huge, huge fan of these uh, old shooter games. I really like these kind of uh, games. So, we don't really get games like this in, in nowadays. Time. But even though they're so glitchy and have so many flaws, like you don't really see the enemy uh, because of the background and all of this, there is still a hell of a lot of fun. A hell of a lot of fun that this doesn't make sense. At all. But I'm pretty sure you get my point. What I don't get is how I can actually uh, proceed in this game. Whoa! Robo truck. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm not taking any damage. So it's a way to save the match from ammo. We have to use this, um, this, this. I'm pretty sure that. I'm not sure if it. Or I'm pretty sure that I'm not sure if this is a multiplayer thing only. But I know that there was some kind of a motor thing you could put on your robotic hand enhance your attacking power so you had to kind of like a steam engine or something like that to dish out mega punches. Not quite sure if this was multiplayer only or if it was an about to find something like that. As far as I'm aware there doesn't seem to be a, a secondary fire mode. But I I think I remember that you could somehow uh, upgrade your weapons. What? There was a human there. Human, don't run away. Don't run away. Open. Well, open. Open. No, Robo Frog, leave that human alone. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, sir, step away from the turret, please. Or maybe you could step towards it so I could um, destroy it. Unreal, the first Unreal game had these kind of fruits as well. I 
something in an expansion or later in the game you could also find seeds to throw into the ground and if you wait long enough they, uh, they grew a, a, new, a new fruit which could help you with your health problems. So there are more humans here and they've probably seen me kill their friends. So you know what this means? I cannot leave any... Um, It works. It works. That must have been the slowest moving opening door I've ever seen. And wow. I just nearly killed myself there. But the mega armor is doing its job, so that's alright. Remember brain, right mouse button. There's no secondary fire armor. Amazing waterfall you will ever see. Just, just look at it. Just if you fi find a website that loops uh, uh, YouTube videos and mesmerize yourself. The quality. Of uh, no, spy robots will not spy in my territory. Level up. How, how does how does level up work? Come on. I need to know. Um, first, I gotta survive the attack of the robo. Wait. And haven't I been here before? I'm pretty okay. So why why is this doorway or hallway now open? I don't really understand it. What I like. I gotta know though, is there a key to, to, you know, level up? I can't see anyone. Nope. Uh, well, maybe we'll have to find some, some power up. We'll have to wait until we finish this level. just noticed is uh, are these I mean look at the walls is this supposed to be a jungle and this is the way they depict the jungle in this game or what what is this supposed to be it looks ridiculous and I just found a secret but the game actually had to load the old um region for the secret. The Golden Soul is an awesome name for a power-up. And I'm basically invincible now. But come on, you really had to put that secret back there so I have to endure the load times again. Uh... Arm. I have no idea how I can reach this. Apparently 
I don't have to reach it because I accidentally finished the level. And my fist is there again. Guys, this is, um, I really enjoy this game, but I think this is, I have to make a, a cut here. This is a game too much for me. I don't have the firepower to blast through that gate. I wonder if I can use the C4 I just found. <gasps> what the? Who's? <laughs> yeah, forget about the C4 I just found. We'll just use a ghost. <laughs> Whoa, what was that all about? It was the explosive ghost of your past. So, no question about that. Uh, don't attacking me while I'm trying to wrap up this video. So guys, if you enjoyed this uh, first level of Daikatana, you would like to see more, leave a comment below uh, and or like or whatever, just somehow contact me and tell me dude this was so ridiculous we want to see more of this um for the time being i've been your omg captain raven and i will see you guys again next time bye bye <laughs>